Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to make this video talking about Kobe Bryant and all the stuff that's been going on with his shoes coming from a real fan. I want to shout out all the real Kobe fans out there. Um, I'm probably going to be just going here and there because I'm not a YouTuber. I don't know. I don't edit videos like everybody else. I do have this channel. This channel is mine. I do have a lot of clips of Kobe on there. But I also have a lot of other videos that I haven't even shown in my collection that I know a lot of people have asked for. But this video is mainly about calling out Vanessa Bryant, his widow, which, to be honest, I'm upset with because the way she handles and the way I guess Nike handles everything about Kobe and his Kobe shoes these days. And I don't want to hear people defending her saying, oh, she has nothing to do with it because she does. She has the connections. She has the money. She's in power. She has all the power over Kobe's money now since he passed and I'm talking and I want to talk about how when his shoes release that his real fans never get a chance to get a pair of shoes we got to be on the sneakers app and we always get on there and the bots always take all the shoes and then um she's over here trying to downplay it saying well i'm more upset because the reverse grinches came out and obviously all the kobe fans know that those are were highly anticipated even though he never wore them in game and that too i'm gonna go over all my kobe fandom and i'm not saying i'm better than anybody at being a kobe fan because yes i was a huge kobe fan and I know there's a lot of Kobe fans out there, but I, I want to say that I think I'm one of the biggest Kobe fans ever. And yeah, I'm just a working class guy and I probably don't have all, every little thing about him. But I know a lot about him and I watch a lot of basketball of him and I still do. And I have a big collection. As you can see, my video, I have a bunch of clips and that's not even a percentage of what I got. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of DVDs, full seasons that I recorded myself that I could put on YouTube for all the Kobe fans, but I just haven't done it because it takes a lot of time and patience with that stuff, and I just never got around to it. Plus, I don't know. I don't like how there's a... Uh, people on the internet who take other people's work and put it as their own and i know there's some kobe channels out there that do steal stuff and put it as their own which annoys me and i don't want to i don't know if i want to do that with my stuff because i have a lot of rare stuff but back to vanessa and the shoes well i want to say obviously all the kobe fans know that before he died it was it wasn't easy but it was a lot easier to get his shoes and i want to put the story out there that um the month that he passed away like january 3rd 2020 the kobe 5 pro Tro chaoses came out and i got a pair size 12 i believe and they were just too snug on me because i actually wear the shoes and i like playing in them I'm not some guy who just puts some, gets some. I'm a real fan. I'm going to wear that sh shoes. If I really wanted, if I really thought about it, I probably would want a second pair just to have put away just so, so they could look nice and have one pair so I could play in them. But that's what I did. And I got size 12 and they're really snug. So I uh, sold them thinking I could get a 12.5, I believe. But the thing is, this is weird because... To be honest, it was uh, January 2020 and a couple days before he passed, I hadn't been really thinking about Kobe for a while. I don't know. He had, he'd been retired and I was just thinking to myself that I wanted, I was telling myself I 
I should try to meet him one day because he was a big idol of mine when he was playing. And then, lo and behold, he passes away a couple days later, which is kind of crazy. And another crazy thing is, the night before he passed, I went on StockX, I believe, and I bought that 12.5, size 12.5 shoes of his from another seller. And I had it confirmed and everything the night before he passed. And obviously the day, the next day came and he passed away and everybody was heartbroken. Obviously I was heartbroken for days and days and months, you know, crying and crying as a big fan. But with the shoes that I bought in StockX, the seller canceled the order because obviously he either wanted to keep them or he knew that the stock, that the right Kobe had just passed. So he, he knew that the, the, the price was was going to go up. So he canceled my order, which obviously pissed me off. And right then and there, I knew from that moment on that Kobe passed, that it was never going to be the same. And I went on NikeTalk.com and I was saying all this stuff to people and people were telling me, oh, calm down. Vanessa's got it. Vanessa's going to pull through. Vanessa's going to make sure real fans get shoes. And I knew from that day on, it was never going to be the same. I knew that resellers were going to take control every time and that's what they all do and they put the shoes on ebay for three four times the amount which is ridiculous and then you got vanessa over here saying oh that she's posting that she's talking to nike and how to get more pairs and then she just posts about these grinches that they're going to be that nike made three x the the amount that they made the previous or the, the other Grinches, which was, I mean, I could see them doing that, but still the resellers still got them all within seconds and they're on eBay. My size, the cheapest I saw was probably 500 and that's cheap. They're ranging 500, 600, 700, 800, maybe a grand. What I'm more mad about with Vanessa is she's not for the real fans. She acts like she is. And I know I don't want to sound too crazy about this, but it's like ever since Kobe passed away, she's like a celebrity now. She's posting more on IG. And then the thing that pisses me off the most, most real fans like me can't even get a pair to even pay. I'm willing to pay regular price, $190 plus tax, $200 for a pair of reverse Grinches. And I can't get them because obviously the resellers are grabbing. I'm putting them on eBay. But Vanessa's out here posting screenshots of her friends getting gifted reverse Grinches. And lo and behold, all these friends have money, are rich, and can afford the reseller prices. But a real fan like me, who lived and probably not died, but I stood up for Kobe a lot throughout my life. Because people would always bash him. I would always be there having his back. I remember when everybody hated Kobe. I loved Kobe. I I told everybody he was the next coming of Jordan. This and that. Nobody believed me. Everybody laughed at me. And lo and behold, after he scored the 81 points, everybody started loving him. And then he started winning championships with Paul Gasol. Everybody started loving him. He passes away. Now everybody loves him. He used to be the, the most hated player in sports with the rape allegations and everything even though i always defended them but i'm that's here or there and that too i just want to say if you think my fandom is fake like i said this channel of mine is all about kobe mostly and i have from 2004 the 2004 2005 season i bought league pass for eight straight seasons just to watch Kobe. And I'm from the Midwest. I'm not from California. So I, so obviously I'm three hours ahead or forward. So all the games here would start at 1030. I would have my DVD player ready with a blank DVD every night. Cause I didn't want to miss a game. Cause Kobe obviously was, it was like entertainment and I didn't want to miss a shot he made or miss. Cause at, he could, he could do something crazy any night, and I didn't want to miss it. And for, I mean, there'd be times where I, where I would miss the games or 
or I don't have every game, but like almost every game, like from 2004 to 2012, I had league pass and I have probably, I'd say 85 to 90% of those games, full games on DVD. And maybe one day I'll take the time to upload um, highlights of each of those games. But I'm just trying to say that I'm a real Kobe fan and it's just sickening how Vanessa is over here giving her rich friends like the Kardashians, Sierra, Lala, and whoever else who can afford these reseller prices. But real fans like us who can barely afford working class people who can who are actually fans. These other people, they don't care about Kobe like that. They... Or other people want to say that they're bigger fans than me. No, everybody would probably watch games and then turn it off. I would wait till the end, record it like a fucking movie, every game. Watching every game. And then you got her giving free pairs to these rich friends who who don't care nothing about Kobe. They're just, they're just there for the aesthetic, which it's just sickening. And then, Vanessa, you don't really care about the real fans and if you did care you would contact me and give me a free pair because you're giving all your fr friends free pairs like as as if they deserve them just because they're your celebrity friends but what about the real fans like me who are willing to pay two hundred dollars but at this point why can't i get a free pair and that's another thing I'm Mexican American. You're Mexican American. Look out for your look out for your for your for your for your kind. Hook me up. I mean, or what is it? Are you just there for your celebrity friends? You're just you're the face of Kobe now. Like it just sick sickens me that you're giving your friends free shoes. But people like me who actually love Kobe, watch Kobe, studied all his moves, defended him day in, day out when he was actually uh, playing basketball, now can't even get a pair because the eBay resellers take them or all the resellers take them. And Vanessa's, Vanessa, all Vanessa says is, oh, that she's hearing the, she hears everybody complaining, but that's why she turns off her comments on Instagram because she knows she would get bombarded and hated on from real Kobe fans. But she just caters to her celebrity friends, and it's just a damn shame, obviously, that Kobe passed away. And obviously, it's a damn shame. Obviously, he was a person. He's not just shoes or whatever, but still, as a I, we all love him. Yes, she was his widow, but still, we're his fans too. We're a part of the community. We're the, we're the people that made him. He was a great player and everything, but the real fans made him, and I think Kobe would understand me. Even, Vanessa's out here just giving away free pairs, but real fans can't get them. And maybe I sound redundant, but it's just sickening. And if she really cared, she would contact me and give me a pair. She's Mexican-American. I'm Mexican-American. Let's look out for our own kind. Or you just look out for your rich friends. That's all I got to say. It's been, it's just been too long. And I hope this video goes viral. Post it. I want Vanessa to hear this video. I want her to reply to it. And... I'm sick of, like I said, I'm sick of her giving her rich friends all these pairs of shoes, but not us. And nobody else is complaining about it like this. And you can call me a crybaby or whatever, but I'm sick of this. I'm a big Kobe fan. I think I deserve at least to buy. And then there's another thing where people say, how is, how, how, how can they make it to where people can uh, actually get a pair? Well, I've heard people make comments that Nike should do pre-orders. They should do pre-orders. So make it, make everybody make an account and everybody at least pre-order one or maybe two pairs in the size that they like. And then they can make them instead of just making a certain amount where just the resellers are going to grab them. And if Vanessa, you really cared, you'll contact me and f figure out how to fix this. Like I said, 
I am one of Kobe's biggest fans, if not one of his biggest fans. And if I did have the money, if I was a multimillionaire, multi-billionaire, whatever, I would probably have a room just of all of Kobe's authentic stuff. I'd probably have a pair of every shoe that he he wore in game. I'd have all his jerseys. I'd have signed stuff. But obviously, I'm just a working class guy, and I can only do so much. The most I could do was watch his games, study his games, record his games. And like I said, real Kobe fans or people out there, make this video go viral. Make Vanessa hear it, see it. And at the same time, if it, if people help me out on this, I will try to start my Kobe, because I've said it for years, my Kobe, because I want to make a Kobe... I want to make a video highlight of every game of his career. I wish I had every game of his that he ever played on DVD just to, for a reference. If I ever wanted to watch it or I want to make a highlight of that game of his. Even the ones from his rookie year. I could make videos of him sitting on the bench. Everything. I've made videos here and there. You can watch them. I made that video of Kobe 37 points versus the Hawks. November 2nd or 3rd, 2005, when he averaged 35, the year he scored 81. I have every game of that year on DVD. I can make a video of every game. I have almost every game of 2004, 2005. 06, 07, I have a lot of those games. 07, 08, his MVP year. MVP year I have every game in the regular season. I'm missing some games in the from the playoffs. 0809, I have almost every game I'm missing, probably like 10 games from that season. I have tons and tons of footage that nobody else has on YouTube or probably in the world of Kobe or ha or is willing to do the work to put it. So if people help me out to put this video out to Vanessa so she can hear, if she really cares about her real Kobe, real Kobe fans, she'll get a hold of me and try to give me a get me a pair of the reverse Grinches. And I don't want to hear people saying that I'm crying this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of her giving her rich friends these free pairs, the Kardashians, Khloe Kardashians out there posting, oh, thanks. Thanks for the early Christmas gift. When she could afford, if she really, they can all afford the reseller prices, $1,000. $1,000 to them ain't nothing. $1,000. i am a working class guy. I'm sorry I'm not rich. But I have to pay the reseller prices. What kind of world is this for it's just sickening, man. And Vanessa's out here on IG, and that's another thing. Vanessa, I re I don't remember her when Kobe was live. She never really posted on Instagram. But now she's posting all the time, this and that. And maybe she's just trying to get over his death. And I understand maybe his death affected her a lot because, obviously, that was her husband and her daughter passed away. But still, it affected his fans and his biggest fans a lot, too. And it's not fair that she's giving free pairs, and I sound redundant because I've said it a million times in this video, but still. And like I said, if she cares, she'll contact me. She'll contact me, make a comment on here, or maybe I'll put my email in the comments where she can contact me if she really wants to do right by a real huge Kobe fan. And I've seen Kobe live. I went to games just to see Kobe. I've seen Kobe live five times. I'm from the Midwest in my hometown team. I've seen him play five times. Well, actually the first time he was injured, but it was cool seeing him on the bench. He was on the bench. He didn't play. But then the, the next four times I went, he was in action playing. And I swear to God, it was everything that, everything that I wanted. It was the most greatest experience ever, dude. Kobe out there in live action his biggest fan watching him, and it was just amazing. And like I said, if you care, Vanessa, about real fans, and instead of just giving your rich friends free pairs, you'll contact me and make this right. And if the Kobe fans and people out there make this video go viral and make her see it, I will try to start making um, videos of Kobe of all my games to put my stuff out there so all the Kobe fans can see. And I got a lot of rare stuff. So I'm checking out. And let's see how this goes. 
and peace to all the real Kobe fans and all you fakes and all you resellers and all you y'all know what you are y'all are just trash and that's how I'm gonna say it peace out